Brooks, Jason Collins. We are chasing homes, and today we have chased down this awesome Clayton single wide in Fulton, Mississippi. We're Southern Housing. We have got Bubba the Brain back here. He knows everything there is to know about these homes, and he is going to give us the 50 cent tour. So let's jump right in. Hey guys, Bubba Mendoza here. I don't know if I would believe him about everything, but I know a couple of things about this home. Tell us what we're looking at, Bubba. So this right here is your Clayton Edge. This is a three bedroom, two bathroom, bat and board house, about 1,150 square foot home. Uh, I actually just sold this home to a customer out in Amory, Mississippi. So. Uh, her name's Miss Eula. Miss Eula loves this house, and, and I'm, I'm asked her permission to show this home. So let's get right into it to this third bedroom. This third bedroom comes exactly how you see it. You've got your little uh, quarter curtains up here. It is bat and board. Nice little sizable closet for your third bedroom. Guys, this home, and, and as we talked before about our other homes, it does have outlets everywhere. Two on this wall, one, one, one. Uh, beautiful, beautiful home here that we have. And you can see how they've got the wooden trim up here up top, just to kind of give it a little extra contrast in, the, in this room to match the, the door trim. Awesome. Well, but you know everybody wants to see the kitchen and the master bathroom. And I know when we came into this one, I caught a little glimpse of yeah. the of the living area. So we're gonna push in and take a look at that, guys. Okay. Got what would, what would be considered just a standard second bath in a three, two single wide. This one, interestingly enough, this one has hard surface linoleum flooring. I'm gonna spin around real quick and remind you guys, this bedroom has carpet. Now, Jason, what does that mean? Well, you know, with the post-pandemic world that we live in now, what I tell people is, if this was my house, what I would do is I would make that bedroom that's got the laminate or the linoleum flooring, I'd make that my office because it'd be easier for my chair to roll and then we would use that in for a bedroom. And I think we're seeing that a lot now um, because sort of the working world has gotten used to people telecommuting. So if you're looking for an affordable house that's spacious, because we're talking about a little over 1,100 square feet with a space for an office. This might just be what you're looking for. But Bubba is posed, poised right over here at this awesome island. Absolutely. This nice, beautiful Formica Island right here. Uh, and it's got your big single sink right here. Uh, this is more of your farm style look and a sink. But I think, and Jason, you can correct me if I'm wrong, how well these, this Formica countertop goes with the paint on these cabinets how it just you know we're seeing a lot of the of the shiplap look and we're seeing a lot of i don't know what like what is a good word here i've pickled whitewashed i can't, <laughs> whitewashed I can't really one. come up with with exactly what this look is but you know it's this sort of weathered farmhouse yep. barn motif that we're seeing a lot and I really like <laughs> let me get my whoa we're doing fun things here. Let me get my deal sorted out here. There we go. Now then and we're seeing a lot I really like I really like the fact that we're seeing a lot of the commercial style commercial look on the range vent hoods. I like that. I like the fact that we're seeing subway tile on backsplashes and stuff like that. I think that that's awesome. I think this kitchen, in terms of a single wide at this price point, is awesome. I mean, I, single wides, they used to scrimp on doors, cap, kitchen cabinets, and kitchen layout all together. Mm -hmm. And that's just not the case anymore. We have got very spacious open floor plan. And I'm gonna spin around here really quickly and show you guys the accent wall in the living room is made with that same sort of rustic idea that same sort of rustic aesthetic i'm going to zoom in here and show you guys really quickly look all the way down to look at this they're using sort of this i don't know steampunk industrial um you know this is just this is just steel pipe that they've incorporated in that that i think is great i think it's just bringing a little bit more variety into Absolutely. the design elements all the way into the kitchen 
That's great. But I love this kitchen, and I'm pretty sure we're going to like the master. Oh, the master is something special. But before you get to the master, you have your back door right here, and then a great spacious area for you to be able to put your washer and dryer. You know, you're not in, it's not like the last home that we've seen where you're connected. You're not connected to anything. You're, you're, this is your own little space right here that you can have your washer and dryer. And, and, and I, I like the size of this. Um, I think it's, I think it was a great addition for this home. Just add a few feet onto the master bedroom. So, uh, onto the master bedroom and I'll, I'll show you a little bit about it. And you can see how it's got the exact same wall pattern and ship flat type idea that the living room has. So I it, love that they're bringing that design element throughout the whole home. And I'll sneak right in here real quick. I'm sure he was going to show us this, but I want you to look, they even brought that sort of same rustic, light colored wood grain look into the closet. And I think, you know, people are like, what difference does it make if you have the aesthetic in the closet? Well, this is, this is somebody, this is why I tell people all the time. It doesn't matter if it is a price point 16 wide or if it's the most expensive two story or triple on the block. Every single one of these is somebody's home. Absolutely. And so when you have a manufacturer that just says, hey, you know what? Let's put that in the closet as well. To me, that, that just says that they care about their customer satisfaction and stuff. I really like that and idea. And if you think they care about that in the closet, just wait till you see the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom is the same thing. I mean, throughout the house. You can see it starting from here above the sink. It goes all the way above the tub. Uh, the shower is a good sized shower. Beautiful. Beats my bathroom. <laughs> and then we've got the the awesome soaker tub, garden tub. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love the fact that they've got built-in linen shelving there. Absolutely. This is this. Well, is this great. would probably end up becoming a wine rack. This is my <laughs> home. Right. But hey, that's just me. That's just a preference. So let's talk a little bit about um, about the services that come installed with this home for people that may not be familiar. Obviously, this is a HUD code home, and for people who don't really know what that means, to, to sort of bring it down into a small bite-sized piece for you, HUD code says these homes need to be move-in, livable, ready from day one. Mm -hmm. So they're going to come with water heater, HVAC, all of the things that you need, appliances, floor cover, everything that you need in order to set up home immediately is what you're gonna find in a HUD code home. So can you tell us a little bit about the the um, the amp service, the HVAC and the water heater? Yeah, so with us, it's and, and with like a lot of other dealerships, that kind of stuff is built into this price. You get your appliances, your HVAC, your water heater, everything that that you need to turnkey this home and move in after your dirt pad's already done and, we, and we've got your septic, all that is just ready to go. Uh, and we've got great service, man. You know, like we, we sold a house not too long ago and their house delivered on that Monday. On Tuesday, they were out there with the HVAC, or the HVAC guys were out there doing their job, got it fixed. I mean, it's, it's really kind of special how, how well these people work together, how well they work with us and how quick and efficient they are. That's awesome. So moving in here, obviously in the utility room area, guys, this right here is going to be your HVAC system. And then right here on the wall, we are going to have your 200 amp switch box right there. 200 amp service on a home this size will run any and everything that you could possibly want to run in this house. Now, one other thing I want to point out is I'm seeing smart thermostats show up across the board in homes. I mean, it's like, it's the new, it's the new thing. So Bubba, can you tell me what benefit there's gonna be for the average Joe who buys this home because it comes already uh, equipped with smart thermostat? Well, I can tell you that I'm jealous. <laughs> I can tell you that because my home does not have that. Uh, this home, you can work this from your phone. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're at, you can work this thermostat from your phone. It's easy, it's not like anything else. I messed up and turned the emergency heat on my house the other day. 
Uh, that was a big no-no. Wife said that was a bad no-no. So this right here is a lot easier, um, and, and I believe it's a lot more efficient than anything else that's on the market right now. And these come, like you said, these homes come standard equipped with these things now. So very special. Well, and you know, modern manufactured housing is crazy energy efficient anyway. I mean, we can get into, man, we can get deep in the weeds on this if you want to, but, but all these new manufactured homes you're going to find, especially coming from, from Clayton, you're going to find vinyl clad aluminum windows. The, the aluminum prevents conduction, which is when the metal gets cold and it pulls heat or cold from inside or outside the house, that's going to make it more efficient. They all come with low E glass which basically means that it's gonna let the warm rays in in the winter and block those warmer rays in the summer so your system doesn't have to work quite as hard to keep up. But just the idea that you can set your thermostat to keep your home cooler or warmer when you're at work and then program it to, hey, let's get the temperature back to where mama likes it before she gets mm -hmm. home from work. And you don't have to let have that running all day or you don't have to deal with you know, that hour or so that it's gonna take you to get your house warmed back up or cooled off when you get home from work. It just means that your system is working when you need it to, which is really, I guess, the epitome of smart. Absolutely, that and it's, it's the little things that if you're heading home one day, and you, like he said, you wanna go ahead and get that ready for mama or wife or, or daughter or son, then you can do that from the convenience of your, from your office. So it's, it's really neat. But, but let's pop outside quick. I noticed when we were coming up to this one, that we are looking at some low maintenance vinyl siding. Yeah, that's how so if you could kind of give me a rundown on what's going on on the outside of this house that would be beneficial for, for uh, your average buyer, that'd be all. Okay, well, so right here you've got your, your, you got your vinyl, your clay color vinyl with the black shutters and the white. This is my three favorite combinations. Uh, it is easy to put on. We've actually had to put some on that came from us. I think the manufacturer delivered it and they went through a rough little storm. Um, they didn't see it, we didn't see it. Me and the general manager just hopped on a ladder. We snapped this back on, we got it going. Uh, very, very easy to maintain. Plus the contrast and, and the colors of this look, just look amazing with this house. I couldn't agree more. This is super nice little double wide. Guys, once again, my name is Jason. You are watching Chasing Homes, and if you like the content that we're producing, help me help you. Subscribe to the channel, that always helps. Like, that always helps. That lets YouTube know that you like the content we're producing, so they'll show up, so we'll show up more on your feed. Drop a comment below, I love to hear from you guys. If you guys are interested in this home or any of the homes that they have in inventory at Southern Homes, Southern Housing in Fulton, Mississippi. Look them up online or you can find out information on manufacturedhomes.com. Once again, I'm Jason, you're Chasing Homes, and we'll see you next time.